physical rigors of a rugby pitch and a game are, are, are incredibly demanding. There are no pads. You're just hitting the other person as hard as you can to get more meters. And the aggressiveness, it, it just drives me. I love, I love the intensity. It's an aggressive sport, I'll give you that. 35 minutes uh, each half, no timeouts. The players stay on the field for the entire time. It takes a lot of determination and perseverance and hard work. You have, it's thinking game. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be really sharp and at all times. So we can only take the best and the brightest when it comes to rugby. Rugby, what I have to say, is my favorite sport out of the universe of sports. We see the Pink Ribbons Project as a cause that, that uh, it takes toughness, it takes mental toughness, it takes physical courage, because what we're trying to do is we're trying to help young men empathize with, with females and, and males that have breast cancer. And like any disease, it's a war, and we're trying to fight it. And, and our hope is that by the strong helping those that need help, hopefully we can, we can provide an example for sports, other athletes, to join the cause and bring awareness to this problem. Well, the St. Thomas uh, rugby team is putting on a game versus our cross-street cross, cross street rivals, I guess you say, St. Pius, for a fundraiser for Pink Ribbons Project. We're selling tickets to the game, and then there's also a banquet after the game, and it's all money to donate or to give to Pink Ribbons. We're ha holding our second annual Lady Hager Cup. The Lady Hager Cup is named after my grandmother, Bernice Hager, who uh, passed away as a result of breast cancer in, in uh, 2007. Uh, what we decided to do was, in, in a way to honor all those that suffer and have died from this disease, uh, we wanted to uh, get out and do something, anything that we could to help bring awareness. Our first year, and again this year, we'll play in pink jerseys uh, for the game, uh, and what we'll do is we'll auction off those jerseys and all of our proceeds will go uh, to Pink Ribbons Project to help uh, for breast cancer awareness. Well, our main goal is, you know, for the cause, is to promote breast health and cancer awareness. That's just beyond the game, but also to get a lot of people out. Last year's event was awesome because it's a first time thing and you're always excited to be there for the first thing. It's always a neat experience seeing a thousand people up in the stands when you don't usually get to see that. Last year's event definitely inspired me to become a member of the varsity this year and watching them play for a purpose and cause was probably the most amazing thing I've seen in my life so far. I just wanted to dedicate myself just to be on it so I could play again this year. Because we have such a fantastic group of parents and volunteers at St. Thomas, it, it was a beautiful event. It went off without a hitch. Uh, we raised over $10,000 for breast cancer awareness. So it was a perfect evening for everybody. And our team is just out there trying to help women with this, this opponent that they can't see. We love rugby, so we get to play something we love. And if we can help somebody in the process, I mean, it's just like a miracle to us. I feel, I feel thankful that, that Coach has the chance to let us do something like this. This is a, a great way to show our community that we, we care. We care about women in our, in our world and that uh, this is really important to us. You get to, once again, bring hope into people's hearts that are feeling pain. You get to uh, really make them feel like they, they're able to survive, accomplish. And then again, you're here to watch some good old-fashioned rugby. My mom uh, had breast, breast cancer when I was 10. And, you know, I thought, I thought it couldn't touch me. I, I thought, uh, I did never affect me. I knew what it was, but I thought, you know, that's like a distant thing. And when it did happen, I was scared. Like, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I was praying for my mom every day, you know, and um, I was thankful that she that she got her checkups really early, so they caught it early, you know, and they got rid of it. And I was I was thankful to God that 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 uh, she is all right. This game means the world to me. Knowing that my grandmother survived breast cancer knowing that other women are going through the same thing. I just want to be able to try and do all I can. And we're just dedicated to help fight breast cancer. And now that we've been introduced to this cause, it's going to keep growing and growing, and we're just going to help more and more.